the heat, I know I don't know about the West Coast, but I know Central, Central and uh, Southern and Eastern's getting hit hard with some heat. So I hope you're beating that heat. I'm gonna flip the camera. I'm gonna get out these printing labels uh, to get ready for this shipping process. What am I getting? Text alerts, whatever. But yeah, good evening, everybody. I don't even know the time. What time is it? 8:45. Good evening. Welcome in. Hello. Facebook, hello YouTube, hello TikTok. What's up, Teej? Teej. All right. So tonight we're packing 22 items. That was not, that's not one day. That's a day and a half worth of items. So what's up, Kelly? Um, I don't know how it is all, obviously you're probably not from there, but in California, but I know probably if you're in the Midwest or in the East or in the South, it is steamy outside. So steamy. I'm in Indiana. It's going to be breaking records tomorrow, so I hear. Uh, so I hear. But welcome in. We're shipping off 22 items. Some of them are repeat buyers, so they're combined the items. So we have someone who bought four items together out of my store. What's up, Mike? Um, 22? Uh, yeah, 22 items. But it's not in a day. It's in a day and a half. Or a little over a day and a half, I think. Uh, but someone bought four items and someone bought uh, another uh, two pants together, so same size. So we're actually sending less packages. No live today, I know. No live today. Actually, I went live for like a minute this morning. It was garbage. I did like one more stop on my way home. I focused today on um, packing, or not packing, but taking pictures and listing because um, actually taking pictures, I'm going to list more later. But guys, you need to understand Right now is the time if you have stuff in your death pile, you need to get that death pile listed because stuff's going to really start picking up. Take it from me. As you all know, I've been doing it a long time. What's up, Barry? Right now is the list because once September hits, your sales are going to start going up and up and up. So don't let that stuff sit on the sideline and wait for you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, What's up, Art? Thank you. What's up, Missy? Good evening. And again, what's up, Kat? Barry, thank you for finally giving me some, uh, someone sent you, someone sent Barry a, uh, I think it was you, didn't they send you a Galaxy last night? This was just Barry on, on Facebook and YouTube. Someone basically sent him $500. Maybe I'm exaggerating. And he's like, cool, a Galaxy. That's what happens when you're uh, international YouTube, TikTok, sensation, whatever you are. So what's up, Lexington? All right, I can start. All right, what's up, Kat? Um, David, you're welcome. You're welcome. 74 now, and um, it's beautiful. All. Is that in Maryland? Maryland, 74. I know our heat's coming your way. Tomorrow it's going to be real hot here in Indiana, then it's coming your way to the East Coast. So what's up, Sarah? Uh, you're way exaggerating. Guys don't exaggerate. I don't know what you're talking about, Kat. They're $10. No, they're not. They're at least 500 minimum let's let's do some packing let's get some packing out the way so this is a task i don't know if you guys saw uh, my last video on youtube but i actually talked about this brain right here this little panda i'm like remember i got down i was like down on the ground i was like hey this little panda right here look out for it well there it is right there this sold for 23.88 it's just a polo and it's like i don't know it's got some polyester and nylon some sort of performance i can feel it I can feel it in my fingers. What's up, Central Illinois? Uh, yeah. How you guys doing? Barry, I know you're just above me in Michigan. I know it's hot up there, too. It's going to be hot. I think tomorrow, the index in Chicago is like 115, which is going to be a new record. Again, gonna got my thermal printer label. That was a big, hot conversation last night. I was watching some people talking. So thanks. Thanks, Kat. The ocean. So I can hear, it. Kat, we actually just, uh, I know you don't like Disney, um, but I love Disney, as a matter of fact. Love Disney. And we're just uh, finished paying for our Disney trip in the fall. So don't at me with these guys. I have I looked through my store. I was looking for stuff that summer that I'm like, I've had this for over a year. And I had these Bobby Jones shorts. They have like a, uh, just a stripe, almost like a seersucker, but they had that master's logo on them. So I'm like, oh man, those are going to be probably really good. I've held, had them for over a year and they haven't sold. So I just 99 cent auctioned them. They went for 450. 
whatever. I got my money back out of them. I didn't lose any money. Yeah, nice out there. Uh, short, short weather. It is short, short. You wear short shorts no matter what it is. But you're coming from New Mexico to there. But again, let me check, make sure it's going to the right person. It is Andrew. What's up? Hi there, Mar. How you doing? Hawaiian Christmas, I should say. Back there? I know. I know. But yeah, so sometimes if I come across stuff that like, it's just not selling, like we went through the Masters, we went through the summer, went through the spring, it had every chance to sell and it didn't sell. I'm throwing it on auction and getting my five bucks. I paid three dollars for him. Whatever. I can go buy another shirt. Maybe I'll find a Dixon with that five dollars. You never know. You never know. Buyer. What's up, cutie? Um, if my cheeks aren't hanging out the bottom. <laughs> ah! My cheeks aren't hanging out the bottom. You know what, Barry? I like the same thing for my wife. So I hope your wife enjoys that. All right. Speaking of buried. Uh, right here, West Point, military. Uh, this is this was unique because it's just an Under Armour polo, but it had a West Point thing. So got, had a West Point uh, logo on it. And anything that is uh, unique like this, West Point, any type of college or school or whatever, I pick it up. But you guys know right now I'm running a sale, 20% off on all my Under Armour. Although, yeah, this one sold for $15.99. So whatever, $15.99. Thanks for the bear. You guys don't have to send any more gifts. I appreciate it all. What's up, Amy? Amy, how you doing? So getting rid of some of the summer stuff. You guys can tell. Summer stuff's still selling, but you're going to see I'm going to have some winter stuff starting to sell. Starting to sell. Thanks, Barry. Rare. How do you do? Uh, how did you do at the bins yesterday? Well, I'm going to upload that video tomorrow, and you guys will see. So I'm going to keep you hanging. There is a clear winner. There is a clear winner. I'll, t I'll say that. I'll say that. So Aiden. No, Andrew. Andrew. Where are you at, Andrew? Oh, Andrew got the Bobby Jones. What am I doing? All right, West Point. This should be Aiden. That's why I always double check. Don't make don't make bad mistakes like me. Um, sir, so what's up? Pretty good resales. I mean, Joel always gets me. Thank you. Thank you for all the gifts. Next item. Guarantee you guys not have you have not heard of this brand. Guarantee it. I guarantee it. You have not heard of this brand. I'm not saying that because I know it because I didn't know it. I've never seen it in my life. And then I saw it. And I could just tell it was really good quality. It has this uh, sawtooth. This is called a sawtooth pearl snap right there. Denim. That's the name of the brand right there. Never seen it in my life. Have you guys seen it? Looks like nice fabric, Missy. It is. That's why I picked it up because... It was pearl snap denim. Anything that's a pearl snap denim almost is a guaranteed seller if you can buy it under $5. You'll make money on it. Um, the worst case scenario would be like one of these, uh, where do I have? Like one of these Wranglers. No, this is a Levi's. This is even better, pearl snap. That's not even pearl snap. What am I doing? So these Wranglers right here, that's not a Wrangler. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um... All right. Worst case scenario, you get a Wrangler Pearl Snap like this. That's denim, and you triple your money at $5. That's worst case scenario. I pick them up. Uh, what do I price Lulu pants and uh, men's shirts? So um, what price? So the pants are always – Barry, stop. Um, the pants are always usually over $35. I always price Lulu men's pants over $35. They sell better for me than women's. Um, obviously once the colder months hit, they sell better too. So men's pants over $35. You're just got to check up comps. A lot of them are ABC pants. Those are like the work casual pants are stretchy. So what's up blended? Um, and then the shirts, it just depends. Is it a polo pricing those around 30? If it's a, uh, like this, this is a metal tech bit price them around 30 as well. So it just depends. What's up flipping nurse. All right. Anyways, this this denim pearl snap with that sawtooth sold for $39.99. This is one of those items that like I doubt I ever see again. I looked at their website, just like a store maybe in Texas or something. I'm not for sure. But it's going out flat rate envelope. So search, look at my comment. Pretty good resales. What did you say? 
Um, look up, man. It's Melon's Hydro Hat. Did I get a, Did you give something for me? A Hydro Hat? I can't see it because I have the whole chat on. I can't see it. So that's a good excuse. Don't get me gifts. Do you have to stay? Uh, do you have an eBay store to put items on sale? That's a good question. A lot of people have been asking me that. I wish I could be an eBay guru and tell you, but just because I've been on it, so I've had a store for like forever, for probably 10 years. I've probably had an eBay store, so I don't know, but I I don't know. Someone in the chat may be able to answer that. Buried, stop. I can't multi, I can't do three things at once. So are you good over there, YouTube and Facebook? Are you guys good? Um, yes. So... Men's Melon Hydro Hat. That is a hat people wear. I've seen commercials, I think, where they like the men get out of the water and like the water beads off of it. And they're like, buy this hat because I think that's what you're talking about, right? Bolo. Men's Melon Hydro Hat from Joel. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's what you're talking about. I think I've seen ads for that. Uh, you do not need to store... Uh, you do not need a store to have a sale. So Facebook, um, Renee over on Facebook says you do not need to have a store to run a sale on eBay. So they know, again, I've had it too long. I don't even remember if that's the case. So I'm going to go with Renee. So this is an IU. I actually put this in one of my shorts recently, but this is an IU sweater. Again, I have two things here that are related to, it's like every time I'm live, it's either uh, college or NFL. Here's your college sweater. So it's 100 degrees outside and we're selling sweaters. That tells you it's getting close. Um, and that sold for $39.99. I bought it for five bucks. How do you get the path? Uh, how do I get past the shipping label cost on eBay just starting to resell? How do I get past the shipping label cost on eBay? Um, I have a video on my YouTube about the sh uh, how, to, how to do shipping on eBay. But as how do you pass the shipping label? It's it's cheaper if you print your labels at home. I'll just say that if I'm understanding your question cor correctly. If you're just starting out, you can always IG me and I can help you out. I can help you out personally for free. Doesn't cost you any money. Um, do you get a tax cut at the end of the year, or how many? Uh, or how do you report taxes? Hey, thanks, flipping nerds. We need the ice cream. We need the ice cream. It's so hot out. Yes. So. They keep pushing it back. They keep pushing it back. So a little known fact, I keep I keep my tab on the financial world. I listen to Bloomberg all the time, every single day. Um, this has a little bit to do with it, but they keep pushing back. It used to be $20,000 threshold on eBay. A $20,000 threshold. If you made up to $20,000, a 1099 would not get sent to the IRS. You would be in charge of reporting what you sold. Now... They moved it from 20,000 all the way down to 600. So 20,000 all the way down to 600. I know it's crazy, but so many people are selling on e-commerce. So that's what they did. So now if you, last year, you were supposed to get a 1099 for anything over $600 and IRS would get a 1099. Thanks for the ice cream cones. Um, but they didn't, they, they bumped it a year. So I don't know if this year that's the case, but yes, just, just pretend you're going to pay taxes. So keep that money aside that you're pretending to pay, pa pay taxes. If you're just starting out, you're selling a couple thousand dollars this year or whatever. Um, and if they bump it out another year, be happy you have that money. Otherwise, no. Yes, I pay taxes on everything. I actually just talked to my CPA yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday I spent a ton of time talking to CPA, wealth management people, all about taxes and ways to... Uh, ways to make money and, and reinvest money in my business. So I won't have to pay as much on taxes. So thanks for coming in by the way. And thanks for the follow. Um, what's up thrift and cowgirl. And, and that's the United States of America. You're right. That's the United States of America. First time in this decade, I got money back. Flipping nurse telling you, I don't know. Carolyn cat, please. I can't, I can't, I can't triple. Um, but yeah, last year I got money back too. Get a really good CPA, guys. Get a really good CPA. If you're planning to do this, I've been doing this full time now for one year. I've been making more than teaching for 
five or six years doing this. So I had to get a good CPA. So I have a really good CPA. I call her on a regular basis on ways like I, I put up, for example, I put up a lot of my investment from this. Um, in 2018, I bought a car. So I bought a car, I financed it, and I paid it off at the end of that year. And so I have that car and it depreciated. Of course, I still have it. So I talked to her, what if I sell that car? How can I avoid paying taxes? Because it's a part of my business. I'm a reseller. So she explained to me how I can make that work to, in my benefit. Um, Cause I'm looking to sell that car and deploy that money in other ways. So get a good CPA point of that. Sold a polo hat. Need your CPA's info. Carol Ann's a really good CPA. Um, so she'll help you. Someone who does your uh, your taxes. Bearded, I like you too. I got to tell you guys something. Um, I'm going to get a couple boxes in here. So it's funny how when you finally decide to list things, they sell. So a couple, couple weeks ago, you guys know on a Friday, I cleaned all my shoes. They all started selling. Then last week, I started listing all my hats. My wife is in this chat and she was barking at me. So I listed all my hats and I've sold like three over the past four days. So Carol Ann did my taxes. Yes, Carol Ann is a good tax advisor. She's not in here right now, but she should be. So Louis, Louis, that's what you'll look at. Um, blessings. Blessing, Ohio Picker. You're next door. I know it's going to be hot for you too. So, oh, doctor. Oh, what's up? Um, live, not life. There you go. Oh, well, listen, bearded thrifter. You guys don't know who that is because he doesn't come on live very often, except at like late night lives. He's in the chat right now. You should give him a follow. And uh, he is a internet sensation, just like buried. So pretty cool to be able to talk to both of those and have them both live in my chat. I feel blessed. Anyways, that hat sold for $15.55. Um, she's on live. Is she? No, she's not. You and Sirs. I know. So Bearded and I hooked up. I'm going to tell you guys right now. I'll be, I'll be straightforward. Bearded and I hooked up. We did. We hooked up and we got together. Our wives knew about it. It's not a big deal, but we hooked up. He lives in Indiana too. Sometimes you just got to hook up with, with people that are in the same, you know, area as you. Just, it's healthy. It's a healthy hookup. You know what I'm talking about? Um, surf some bearded life soon. We'll see. So here's a, um, I'm so out of whack because you guys keep sending me gifts. Tiger Woods polo. Let's bring it in. Tiger Woods polo. You guys know I love picking up the Tiger Woods polos. Um, Nike polos are okay. They're they're decent, but the Tiger Woods polos always do better for me. So if I'll pick I'll pick them up if they're five bucks. Sold up for twenty four ninety nine. So Tiger Woods polo had no logos on the sleeves, which definitely helps the value. It's a two XL, helps the value twenty four ninety nine. So Nike does better than Under Armour for me for the most part. I hear you. Yep, it was nice. How nice was it? You know it was good. I treated you too, if you know what I mean. All right. Back at it. Ground. Michael getting that $24.99. $24.99. Um, again, this is an auto posture sale. Hashtag auto posture. I don't give her enough credit. But a Roback hat. Again, this is the brand you got to keep out. That little logo right there. That's the cutest dog you've ever seen because... Makes you such good money. I don't know if it's a he or she, but Roback hat, just a Roback hat, one size fits all, used condition, sold for $23.71 auto posture. The person actually, I priced it cheaper by a couple dollars than everyone else. And someone said, will you take $20? I'm like, no, I can't. I just listed it. And they bought it right away. One of those deals. Tips on shipping hats. So what I do, I always put them in just one of my poly mailers. And then I put them in a very small, lightweight box. So all my hats go out ground. I keep wanting to say first class, but like this thing right here probably weighs 8 to 10 ounces. So 8 to 10 ounces. I always put like 11 in just in case because I don't weigh my items. I just kind of know how much they weigh from doing it so long. Um, so 8 
to 10 ounces, it goes out ground. A lot of times I'll reuse an Amazon box, but I never send out a hat like this because I don't want the bill to get bent or something like that to happen. I've never had any issues with returns on hats. Just started selling on eBay about three months ago. Lots of learning to do. Blessed, bless you. And guess what? You're at the right place. Unless you're looking for women's clothes, with which I have here and I'm learning, but I'll help you out. I got you. I got you. Stick with it. You're actually, if, if you're still selling right now and you just started, you made it through the toughest time of year. Congratulations. Things are going to start looking up. So that sold for almost 25 bucks. If someone takes the number one spot for me, I'll leave right now. Don't take the number one spot. You know Beard is going to do it now. All right, here we go. Andrew, you guys know what I do. I go and get all my stuff. I bring it here. I print off my label, so it's all right here. I used to sit right over there, though. How many items do you have in your closet? So I have an eBay store, and right now I have like 1,300 and change, 1,310 or something like that. Um, it was over 1,500. As soon as I got auto posture, I just couldn't keep up with the listing. So I've been hovering right around 1,300 in my store. So and I try to sell 1% of my store a day. Uh, if you want to look at it at a smaller, I like to look at it at a smaller scale, 1% of store a day. But if I want to look at a bigger scale, I could just look at my 90 day total. And we checked that out the other night. It was 12, 12 items per day for the last 90 days. That's including weekends. What the heck is up, Ethan Blair? What the heck is up? You're welcome, blessed. I got you. That's what I'm here for. I'm just starting out on the social media. Obviously, I can talk and ship, but I can't look at gifts too. So this is a Burberry. Obviously, you're going to see Burberry in the store, and you're going to be like, how much is it? You know the brand. Um, this was a women's, and actually, it looked like this. So when it was in the store, it was very sneaky looking. And then you just roll up the cuffs. I saw like just out of the glimpse of my eye, a little bit of Burberry. So it's a flip cuff Burberry. It's women's. If it were men's, it would sell for more, but it's women's. Um, and it sold for $31.24, which was an auto posture sale. That's the second Burberry shirt I sold in a week. I just listed them like a couple weeks ago. That might be too cheap, but again, I, I don't want to hold this until next year. I want to sell that $5 into $31. And now I can have six shirts. I can get six flannels and turn those into $200 or whatever in a week or two. Or just, just being pretending. Example, I don't want to sit on that $5. I can turn that $5 into $200. Uh, Auto posture shares for you. So, um, Lawrence, yes, it does. But I only have an eBay store. And, and Auto posture works. You pay one cost for everything. Poshmark, Mercari, eBay. Um but I just have it for eBay store and it's awesome. So what it does, it, it delists and relists my items. So every time my item doesn't sell for 31 days, it completely delists it and relists it with the new item ID. And then it also sends out offers to anyone interested in my item. So anyone that's looked at my item for like maybe five or 10 seconds or anyone that's clicked to watch my item, they'll get an offer that I decide. Right now it's 5%. What's up, Christina? Over on the tubes. Um... Yeah, right now it's 5%. It was 8%. Oh, and that was a repeat buyer. So maybe the that first person with that first uh, Burberry bought that. I like how eBay now on your app on your phone shows you if it's a repeat buyer. As you guys know, I do everything from my phone. So this person right here bought four items. So they bought two pair of Adidas men, men's golf pants, which I lotted up, and I'll tell you why. A Travis Matthew polo and an Oakley polo. So they bought four items. Um, so is Auto Posture better than uh, than eBay and sales? So Auto Posture is like an assistant for you in eBay. So I'm selling stuff on eBay. Before I had Auto Posture, I'd wake up. Let's say I had a thousand items in my store. I'd wake up to like 600 items I could send best offers to. Auto Posture does that while I sleep. Anyone that looks at my item, they'll send an offer to them. Plus a D list and relist. I can show you here in a second what it looks like. And it's completely changed the game for me. I mean, I, I can tell you like right now, that last sale, that Burberry shirt was an auto posture sale. Someone looked at it. They automatically got my 5% offer and my sweet, cute little message that I sent them. And um, which is automatically sent through auto posture. You just have to create it and they took it. So I didn't have to do anything. They, they liked that little 5%. Um, yeah, yeah, it's sure. So it's not crazy. Uh, oh, 
Aloha. I've been starting selling on eBay a few months ago. Mostly, I sh mostly shirts because I'm in Hawaii. Aloha. What's up, Hawaii? I love you. Um, just wondering what I should expect for t-shirt sales during the winter season. Thanks. Well, in Hawaii, you're going to be selling t-shirts, Florida t-shirts. Um, you're not going to be selling them as, as much. Actually, t-shirts sell year round. T-shirts sell year round. Polos sell better in the spring and summer, but t-shirts can sell year round for some reason they do. Do you still have, uh, I'm not saying that. Uh, I, I'm not saying that because that's going to get me in trouble. Um, before I jump on live, um, you want some company? Do Before I jump on I be uh, Kings, I'm just, you know me, I'm just shipping stuff out. If I get you on here, I won't be able to do this. Um, Travis Matthew, Oakley, two pairs of Adidas pants. The reason I sold these Adidas pants in a lot is because they're an older style. So since they're an older style, I sold them as a lot. Um, for $39.99, and then they took the auto posture sale. People always ask me, how do I decide if I want to do lots? Usually I'll do a lot if the item's around like $14, $15, $16, and I find two of the same, I'll just lot them together and ship them together. It's not everything, but some things. It's There's not like a written rule for me to do it. But anyway, some about all that. I love the page, brother. For the auto posture, um, do I need a Poshmark in order for it to work on eBay? No. So I just have, um, I just have eBay. So I have actually I have a link in my like my link tree. If you're on YouTube, wherever, if you do Surf's Up Five, Surf's Up Finds, so you get five dollars off um, your first month, and you also get a free trial for seven days. So I wouldn't recommend it unless you have an eBay store over maybe a hundred items. If you have an eBay store over a hundred items. Give it a shot. Um, for me, it's it's really helped my sales. I only have eBay. If you have eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, then like it, it does all of them for you for the same price. So really, I'm I should cross list and do more, but I don't. So that person bought all these. These are all going out in a Tyvex envelope. Uh, free. These are free from the postal service. Actually, everything here I get for free from the postal service, except for these right here. Um, what store subscription do I have, Emily? The store subscription I have is a uh, $59.99 a month. So whichever one that is, and that's another thing, because I have that store, I have 1,300 items, I never run into auto posture hurting my listings, my relist. So you get a certain amount of listing insertion fees for free. I never run into that problem. Love the double fold. Uh, need to learn the double fold. Yeah. You guys don't have to take note. My shipping method is not the prettiest, but I've never had complaints about people shipping stuff to them. Like this guy didn't ship it in another bag or this guy didn't fold it right or whatever. Never had a complaint. So, um, I just, that's how I do it. I just fold it, ship it as long as it doesn't smell. Let's see. This is going to. Cody. So going to Cody. Thanks, Cody. Cody. That's not Cody. This is Cody. Did I, put, did I not put something on that last one? Look at me. See? Talking to you guys. That's why I double check everything. All right. Premium. Thanks. Got it. Premium. That's a story hat. Thanks for letting me know. Premium. Um, and Christina. Um... So clothes is there any way to tell the style of jeans? Okay, Christina said, I just uh just selling clothes. Is there any way to tell the style of jeans if it isn't on the tag? How do I know if the leg is boot cut, etc.? So you most likely a lot of jeans don't tell you, but what I would do honestly is go to jean cuts or jean styles on Google and click images, and it will like probably have all the images on one page. So straight leg, boot cut, flare um relaxed or wider baggy or wider tapered um they're all christina they're all if you just google it i bet we could do it right now together we could probably do it right now together real quick by the way it's kobe bryant's birthday so r.i.p kobe bryant it's really interesting it's it's funny how the world works so i sold a pair of kobe bryant shoes and i and i put out a um a little thing today a short on it 
and someone put on there like happy birthday Kobe Bryant. And I completely did not know it was Kobe Bryant's birthday. So just just kind of weird how the world works. Anyways, um Gene cuts images. So there you go. So if you just do Gene Cuts on Google, it'll tell you exactly what to look for. So if you look for Gene Cuts on Google and click images, it'll show you exactly what they are. And then you have a better idea of uh, what to look for. Just st- And that goes for anything. I meant to write, I just started selling clothes. Oh, gotcha, Christina. Yep, I started selling clothes in 2015. So I did antiques and hard goods ever since 2001. Uh, hello, resellers. Are you on whatnot? No, I Laguna. I'm not on whatnot. I'm not on whatnot. This person bought two pairs of my favorite pair of pants that I sell that are golf. My favorite golf pants, as you guys know, are Under Armour match play pants. Love these with a the stretchy waistband. I always sell them for $23.99 a piece, shorts or pants. So person bought them both. If you only had 10 minutes to thrift what section would you go to and look at why? Good question. Okay, so the question is, if you only had 10, 10 minutes, which I can go through a whole thrift store in 10 minutes. You know my energy. But let's say I only had, let's say I had two second sections to go through in a thrift store. It would probably be coats. If they have coats at that thrift store, coats and jackets, and it would probably be pants and jeans. So the pants and jeans sections and the coats and jackets. Why? Because those items bring you the most profit. Those items cost the most money to begin with. You know, jeans could be the pair you're looking for. It's probably $125, $150 retail, while the shirt, a nice shirt will be like $50, $70 retail. So the resale will be uh, lower on that too. You're welcome, Christina. So same person bought these, both these pants. Um, Actually, it was an auto posture. So they both sold for $22.79 instead of $23.99. So there you go. Another auto posture sale. Adrian. Adrian. Going out together. Jackets and sweaters. Jackets and sweaters. My favorite surfer. What's up, college? College, we still have a date. I hope Beard is not in here. I don't want him to get jealous. But do we still have a date for uh, for Friday at 1 to go live on here? We're going to go live. I'm, I'm going to try to get YouTube and Facebook um, live with us too, restreaming. So I probably will, at least with me. And then we'll be able to ask questions. I'll be able to answer it. So, yep. We still have a date on Friday, 1 p.m. <laughs> I'm happy. I can't wait. Can't wait. We're going to work. You guys want to ask some questions to a full-time reseller of everything, clothing, shoes, whatever else I can make money on, or and also someone who just sells cl- shoes. He's a full-time reseller um, who sells just shoes, and he makes a killing. Um, I be cool. One of those brands, uh, I feel like a lot of people this year have like come on the scene and be like, oh, like check out this brand I just found. I be cool. It's a good brand. I feel like it's uh, people, a lot, a lot of people are catching on to it this year. It's women's. I think it's like a golf brand, but super really nice. Like it almost feels cold to touch it. So it'd be great for a hot day. Judy, of course, Judy got it. Judy bought this for $21.81. Another auto posture sale. I don't price anything at twenty-one eighty-one. I don't price anything at eighty-one cents. So that's how I know if it's an auto posture sale. People always ask me, "How do you know?" That's how I know. Um, geez, you guys are the same. No, we're not, Casey. You know that. I mean, I guess, I guess a little bit of the same. We both. I do have shoes. I have two pairs of shoes that I'm going to bring up here that I that I cleaned recently. Play date. It's be there. Is be there and watching. Oh, yeah. Be there or be square. Actually, I saw another I saw another yellow jacket go up to that nest today. Like like one that wasn't there that day. Looking for his homies. Took care of them. I don't feel bad. Don't at me. Brooks Brothers. I've never found one of these performance like Cool Max, but this thing sold within a day. Um, I listen, I listed it off of sold comps like I do. If I never have sold something, I look at the sold comps. I sell mine a little bit cheaper than everyone else. That's my business model. So whatever your guys are, that's fine. But mine is, I buy these things for $5. I sold it for $24.99. People had them, they were selling and had them listed for around $28, $30, $32. $24.99, I'm going to take a couple bucks less. 
and flip that five or that 20. Now into my business model, I don't want to sit on this shirt for five months. Well, I can turn that 25 into four more shirts, five more shirts tomorrow. So that's why I do that. I sold a blue one of those today. Casey, I didn't even know they had blue. The Performance Brooks Brothers. All right, Performance Cool Max Brooks Brothers, guys. Keep your lookout. Did I show you guys up there on YouTube that one? So I know it's hard to see with that light, but there you go. Cool Max Brooks Brothers. Cool Max Brooks Brothers. Really, any Brooks Brothers that is a white dress shirt I pick up now. Um, I only picked up the tuxedo shirts until K-Way was talking about. He picked up every single white dress shirt, so I started picking them up, and... Uh, they do sell. So that's the K-Way. Pick up the white dress shirts as long as they're in good condition. Um, let's see. $24.99. Charles. Charles got that one. You're cool to the max. Oh, there he is right there. I won't even I didn't even know you're in here, boy. All right. Charles. Charles. Got that one again. $24.99. I am fine letting that go for that much. Here you go. Here are some shoes I sold. Picked these up recently. Didn't have to clean them or anything. Um, when the Boost first came out, they sold for really good money. Now they have so many different types. I don't even know. But I Adidas, um, Nike, they're super easy to look up. Adidas has an art number on the inside tag. I'm not. It's, it's really deep down in there. They have an art number. You just look that up on eBay or on Google, and you'll find exactly the model. So these Boosts, they are... Uh, Black Solar, whatever. They sold for $34.99. So $34.99, and I paid $10 for them. So $10 and $34.99. I didn't have to clean them. So I'll do that all day long. If I don't have to clean the shoe, I'll price them a little bit less, sell them. So your shirt has stains on it. I know. That's how, that's, Wayne, that's how you get Lulu on clearance. You go to the, you go to the very bottom of the Lululemon page that they don't want you to see, and it says "We made too much." You can click on that, and they have all the discounted items. And it's always the ones that look like this. I don't care. That's how I get the deals. Plus, you need to get the sh the uh, pace breaker shorts. Quit playing. Uh, you are so smart and cute, Grammy Pappy from Kentucky. You are you are you are cute. I don't know how smart I am. I feel like we're all smart in certain ways. Someone said the other day they're not smart. I'm like, that person like is one of the smartest people I met. It's just certain ways. Like I'm not book smart. I had to work my I had to work my butt off to graduate college from Purdue. So I'm not super book smart. So I do this. Um, let's see. Do you work with your do you work with purses? I don't, Jen. I don't work with purses because there are too many fakes out there. When I used to do estate sales and get stuff from my dad's estate sale, when he would have a really nice estate sale, I knew all the purses were legit because all their clothing was legit. It's all good there. But now at the thrift stores, I don't because I'm just too afraid that they are fake, um, the high-end ones, and I don't want to get that. My feedback on eBay, is, uh, especially now that's my full-time job, means too much to me, so I don't, I don't go for purses. I know there's a lot of money to be made out there on them, though, so... If that's your thing, do it. Another pair of shoes, everybody. Pammy. What's up, Pammy? Thanks for coming in, by the way, Pammy. Uh, let's see. Where do you sell avoid huge cuts? Poshmark is, is not worth it. Where do you sell to avoid huge cuts? Well, the thing is, Poshmark's what, 20% and eBay is just over 13%. You're going to have fees. They have to make money too. But if it wasn't for Poshmark, which I don't sell on, a lot of people do. If it wasn't for Poshmark and eBay, Mercari, you, we wouldn't be doing this full time or part time. I wouldn't have made all this extra money to take my kids on vacations. So I'm fine giving 13% to eBay or if I were on Poshmark, 20% on Poshmark to be able to sell these things. Because if it wasn't for selling on these platforms, I wouldn't be able to do it. I wouldn't have enough money to open a brick and mortar. So there's really no way to avoid the fees. Um, just. What you got to do is buy the right item at the right price and sell it. That's how you avoid it. So make it up, make up for it when you buy your item. I didn't even really talk about this. First pair of Lululemon shoes since we're talking Lulu that I've ever found. So first pair of Lululemon shoes I've ever found. They were women's. 
I paid not again ten dollars for them. Right on the bottom, they say nine dollars. I don't even take that off. You guys can see right there, nine dollars. I don't even take that off. I don't even. I'm not even eat that. I don't even spend time marking on it. That's an extra fifteen seconds. Why would I do that? Fifteen seconds a day. A lot of time. Almost a minute a week. Danielle bought those. They'll sell for thirty four ninety nine. Thirty four ninety nine. Um, and thanks for coming in guys. Appreciate y'all coming in. I hope you guys are learning stuff. That's why I do these at night with you. Well, I do them for two reasons. Number one, I like talking to people. I'm very social. And number two, I like helping people, um, learn. So that's why I do it. What's up, Desty? Desty, I still have that, that Jersey. And we just paid off our Disney thing for the fall. So we're going to Disney in October. So super excited about that. We can talk. Um, how do you know what clothes is worth? Do you take pictures of tags uh, with eBay search? Um, thanks, Tropical. The only reason, blessed, um, the only reason I know is because I've been doing it so long. It's kind of like, this is what I did when I started. I binge watched people on where you're at right now, on the tubes. I binge watch people. Now we have TikTok where people go live all the time. Um, just binge watch what they sold, what's selling. Make sure you look at when, when they're selling it. So if you look up what's selling on eBay, it could be a two-year-old video. Make sure it's current. And I would just take pictures of those brands or write them down in your head, um, like Patagonia. So find Patagonia. You find that label. That's how you know what to look for. It's very hard just to go into a store and go from there with your phone. You kind of have to do a little work before. Um, sell stuff around your house to get an idea of how to sell. And then with clothing, well, I guess you know how to sell. But with clothing, I would just binge watch people. Binge watch. Like this will be on YouTube later. All this stuff's on my YouTube. Um, didn't even know they made shoes. Yeah, they do. I think they like have a I think they made them and then maybe there was someone else. I don't know what I don't know what the deal is. The next item is this Patagonia shirt. It's a sh short sleeve, 2788 Patagonia short sleeve fishing. It has the vents in the back, so it's like a fishing shirt. Uh keeps you cool. When you're on the boat casting for some fish, trying to catch those bass, or if you're on the ocean, you're catching those whatever, marlin. But anyway, it's sold for uh, $27.88, not not a posture sale. I put it at $88. Or go thrifting with you during the week. Yeah, so I'll go live thrifting. And while I'm thrifting, I'm a lot of times telling you what not to pick up. Because that's almost just as important what to pick up. Because a, a lot of people will pick up like, oh, you sell J. Crew suits. I, I found J. Crew shorts and J. Crew shirts. Those must be worth money. No, most all J. Crew stuff that I sell are mostly suits or blazers. Um, maybe some jeans, but just an example. Just an example. All right, that's going out the door. Next one uh, Viore. So, Viore, I think we just sold one of these a couple days ago. My very favorite selling brand of athleisure wear, even though I love Lululemon, I'm not cheating on it. I'm not wearing Viore, but this brand sells the best for me right now. Sorry, guys. This mirror always gets me. So Viore, Viore. Again, I always tell people there are three labels that you'll look for. One that looks like a Ukrainian flag like this. The other one looks just like this is an all white. And another one is round with a V. So I might have one somewhere, but um, that sold for $21.11. So auto posture sale. Auto posture sale. Sorry, I didn't see that if someone put something on there. Where do you get your shipping bags? So these are all on my link tree and my if you're on YouTube wherever. So I have a link tree in my dis my description below. Or uh, if you're on TikTok, it's in my link tree in my um if you follow me. And I get these off Amazon. So these are my favorite bags that I use. I've been using these for years. This brand, they have a lot of different um a lot of different patterns. Like once the winter comes, I'll usually do buffalo plaid just because it's that time of year, it looks kind of cool. But if they have a color that's cheaper, but it's the same brand, I still pick them up. Everything else, go to my YouTube channel. I have a video. Like I do all my shipping with free stuff from the Postal Service. So like poly uh, padded flat rate envelopes, don't go buy them. Get them free. Anyways, this sold for $21.11. Viore shirt. Viore shirt. Are all Zegna suits good? I don't. I pass up some Zegma suits. They used to all be good, but now I pass up some. I think ever since um, the pandemic, because I used to sell them, I used to pick up every one I 
I saw before the pandemic, but since after the pandemic, less people are wearing that uh, suits to work and stuff like that. So I don't pick up all of them. I would just pick up uh, newer styles, newer style Zegna, or if it's an older style with like a cashmere or some type of good blend. You don't package the clothes after you list them um, like KOA? No. So I don't. So the way I have everything organized in my basement is with like items. Like these are all Levi's, Levi pants. So what I do, I go up and take pictures of my items with my phone. I bring them down here and I put them in their light bins. So stripe polos or stripe Under Armour polos, solid Under Armour polos, Levi's, Lucky's, they're all in light bins. And if I sell it, I'll go over to that bin. Let's say I sold a red. I know it looks messy, but you guys have been here long enough. I can pull stuff in a heartbeat. If I sold a red one, it's right there. There's another red one. You know, if I sold a green one, there it is right there. Uh, green. These are Under Armour Stripe. So I don't put them in a separate bag, but I also don't have to worry about uh, moisture. Um, but yeah, it's whatever works for you. A lot of people do the bag system and it, and I would probably have to do it if I hired someone for sure. Um, how much to go between Goodwill stores and the bins? <laughs> Another one. I'm going to upload that video here probably tomorrow on my YouTube channel. It's going to be the stores versus the bins. I already did one episode. This is going to be number two. And there's a clear-cut winner, and I'm not going to tell you. What are the best brands for men's suits and dress shirts? Oh, man. Suits and dress I mean, higher-end Brooks Brothers, uh, Brioni, higher-end Zegna, Can higher-end Canali. Um, those are all good. All good. Here's your NFL. Last item we're packing tonight. NFL um, quarter zip. This is actually – a referee sideline. So I live in Indianapolis and as weird as it sounds, because we had one on our school board panel, we had an NFL referee. Um, they, they, they just, they live amongst us. So I'll find NFL referee stuff around this sold for 2364. So that was another auto posture sale and it's going out to priority flat rate envelope, priority flat rate envelope. So yes, Grammy, good or Granny, good question. That's how I do um, my organize. I organize the system. So down here on, you can see you have a wide view on Facebook. You can see I have sixty bins down here, and I have another twenty in the room next door. Um, most of the stuff next door are women's clothing. How often do I source? Um, when right now I'm listing a lot more, but usually five days a week. I source five days a week. Um, I can't go to one thrift store and buy everything. Usually I have to go to multiple thrift stores and buy things. So I'll, I, it's good because I can do a video. Like I can put on YouTube a video of me sourcing throughout the whole day and just show you like all the stuff I pick up, which is kind of like live thrifting with me, but only seeing the good stuff that I pick up. And sometimes I go through things that like you shouldn't pick up. So that sold for 23, 24. And we have an offer on some Allen Edmonds. So here's an offer. I have these Allen Edmonds. They're really big size 14. Someone just offered a hundred dollars to my 150. What do you guys think before I go? Should I take it? Should I counter offer them? What do you guys think? Um, did you sell, do you sell only clothing? Yep. I sell only clothing. No, I sell shoes. Actually it's the only thing I can make a profit on that doesn't take a lot of time to ship. If it's a big golf bag, I'll list it on Facebook Marketplace. But yeah, I go into the thrift stores. And I primarily just look through cl clothing. If I'm at a garage sale, I might look at some other stuff. But thrift stores, I just look through clothing. It's it's a lot easier for me now because I have a streamlined process with it. How do you find time to source and post? It's so time consuming because I do a million things at once. Let me tell you, I do a, I can I do a million things at once. This is my full time job now, but I, I did it as a part time. I did it part-time and I made as much as I did t teaching. I matched my income with this job, teaching. Um, so what do you do with the items that sit for a while, even after a sale? I'm trying to get rid of stuff. So earlier I, was talked, to, I talked about a pair of shorts that I've had for over a year. I was picking out a pair of shorts out of my bin. I noticed I've had those for over a year. They were Bobby Jones, which isn't a good brand, but I got them because I had a master's logo right above your butt cheek. And the master season's over. Um, golf season's over, spring and summer over. So I put them up for 99 cents. They sold for like 425. So I made my money back. Now I get to go buy one shirt or one pair of shorts with that item or with that money. 
and that item or that shirt could be worth 30. So I just liquidated it. So if I see something that hasn't sold, I'll just 99 cent auction it or something like that. Um, did you sell the sewing machines? Actually, the sewing machines, Marlo, I didn't sell. Um, one of my son's friends, uh, his grandpa was in from India for like two months and they got a hold of me and he wanted to do some sewing while he was there. So I just gave both the machines to them. They were only 10 bucks a piece. So I just gave it to them. What's the minimum you have to make before I'll pick it up? So when I have something going on, it's called the surf up method. What I do is I'll pick up an item. Let's say it's a pair of golf shorts that are Puma like this. Since I already have these listed, I have a ton of Puma, Under Armour, Nike, whatever. I will pick these up, pull a Ralph Lauren. I'll pick these up and I can take pictures and list them from my phone in less than a minute. Minimum I'll take on these types of items is $10. If it's an item I don't have listed, if it's a new item to me, for example, this Disney spirit jersey, I don't have one of these in my store. So if I'm going to have to look up the item, sell similar, figure out the comp, it's going to be have to be like a $15 to $20 profit on it for me to list it. Those take me one minute. This takes me probably four minutes. So I'm not going to buy something that makes me $10. Um that's going to take five, 10 minutes for me to list it. Not going to do it. Uh, when I was part-time, I even had a bigger threshold because I didn't have enough time. It were like 15, $20 items, but now our thrift stores are getting smarter. So it's harder to find those. But anyways, guys, appreciate you coming in before you leave. Don't go. I'm in Louisville too. Melanie, uh, do you ever visit Louisville, Kentucky to source? Um, I could do a meetup with you. Go sourcing with Grammy. Hey, I would go to Louisville. Uh, again, if you guys are sourcing, like I live in Indy, that's a two hour drive. I can write off that trip. I'm driving to Louisville. I'm thrifting in Louisville. I'm eating lunch while I'm thrifting. I'm driving back. You can write off those miles, lunch, and of course the clothing things you source. So what's up Louisville? Get a hold of me. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Facebook, YouTube. I'm on all of them. Surf up finds. Feel free to look at my store too, guys. If you want to, I'm not fake. I don't, don't do fake sales, but what I want you to do real quick is go over to this clown right here kway go over to kway and toilet paper them so go over to kway if you're on here and toilet paper kway don't send them surfboards toilet paper them i'm getting off of here love you guys thanks for coming in hope you learned some stuff um next time i'll come in sooner so i can answer more questions I'll see you on the next one Friday at one. I'll be on live for like two or three hours straight. So yes, Wayne is the bomb. So go over there and TPM. Grammy, go TPM right now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. I'm a TPM.